In today's A-Level IB Biology video, we're going to be talking about blood clotting and there's a whole cascade of events which you need to be aware of. So first of all, why do we carry out blood clotting? Well, clearly, if we cut ourselves, we need to have a way of repairing that cut to make sure that our blood doesn't escape indefinitely and that's the whole purpose of a blood clot. So just to summarise, when our skin is cut and blood is escaping, a blood clot forms in order to seal the wound. So that's our overview. That's why we're actually carrying out the process of blood clotting. But how does it actually take place? Well, you might remember from GCSE or IGCSE that platelets have a very important role. Remember that they are small fragments of cell which clot the blood at the site of a wound. Where do we find these? Well, we find them in blood plasma, along with all the other types of cells, including white blood cells and red blood cells. So what are the cascade of events which occur during the clotting process? Well, first of all, we need the release of clotting factors from the damaged tissue cells. Now, one of these clotting factors includes prothrombin activator, which, as the name suggests, converts the inactive form of prothrombin into its active form, which is just thrombin. That thrombin then has a very important role in activating fibrinogen, which is a soluble protein, into fibrin, which is insoluble. Now this fibrin is of utmost importance because it creates a meshwork over the site of the wound. And as you can see by doing that, it will trap red blood cells within this meshwork, meaning that a clot can soon form. So to reiterate, fibrin provides a meshwork of fibers over the wound, trapping red blood cells and therefore forming the blood clot. And then obviously if that occurs on your skin, then the air soon dries the clot and you'll end up with a scab, which remember you mustn't pick off because otherwise it will start bleeding all over again. And really just to say something that's pretty obvious, the scab provides a protective layer over the wound. Notice that this cascade of events is very quick and it's localized, so it occurs exactly where you want it to occur. You don't want it just happening at random within the blood vessels because otherwise you'll end up with a blood clot which could have major issues if it lodges in the brain or the heart for example. <laughs>